Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Croctober themed video. We have got some delicious Crock-Pot recipes in today's video. We have got two dinners and a dip. So I hope you enjoy them. They're all super delicious and I'm excited to share them with you guys. Um, today's video is in collaboration with another one of my good friends, Sammy over at Managing the Maze. Y'all know how much I love her. I talk about her all the time. She has become a very good friend of mine, and um, she's going to also be sharing some delicious crockpot recipes. She's told me what she's making, and so I'm so ready for it. <laughs> I love all of her recipes, so please go over and give her some love. I will have her channel linked and her video linked in the description box below, so please go over, comment, tell her that I sent you. I know y'all are going to love her channel. I love her channel. I love her, so make sure you go over and give her some love. Let's go ahead and get started. Okie dokie y'all, we're getting dinner going. I have got four of the um, the chicken cutlets, so they're smaller pieces. So I went ahead and did four. Um, I'm going to be making Kat's chicken gnocchi. Um, it's kind of like chicken and dumplings, but instead of biscuit dumplings, you use um, the, the potato gnocchi. And y'all, it is amazing. We love this recipe. I will have her original video linked down below so y'all can get exact measurements and everything, but she shared this a while ago and I've made it and it's delicious and it's a nice cold day today. So I was like, this is perfect. So I've got four chicken um, thin breast here and I'm gonna season both sides with some of the Kinder's red garlic and some of the John Henry's garlic pepper seasoning. If you've been here a while, y'all know that these are our go-to. So John Henry's and the Kinder's red garlic. So I'm just gonna season up both sides. And then So if I was using like regular chicken breast, I probably would just do two. But since these are thin, I went ahead and just do four. Okay, so I'm gonna push this aside and we're gonna mix together the sauce that goes over it. Okay, so you're gonna need one can of cream of chicken. One can of cream of mushroom. And then you're gonna need two cans of water or chicken broth, whichever one you have. Y'all know I always keep the chicken bouillon powder on hand. So I'm gonna fill these up with water, dump them in, and then we'll add in some chicken powder. I think I need a bigger bowl. equal amount of the bouillon. And I'm going to get a whisk and use a whisk. So I'm just going to mix this all together and then we're going to pour it over our chicken. added in that sauce on top and then now I'm going to go in with some garlic powder and some onion powder. Even though I seasoned up my chicken, I still want to add some more, some pepper and a little bit of salt. And then we're just going to cook this on low for about five hours. Whoa, I made a mess. 
and uh, after that five hours is up, we will come back and we will add in our gnocchi. Telling y'all, this is so good. I cannot wait to eat some dinner tonight. Now that the chicken is cooked, we are going to shred it. And then we are going to add in our two packages of that potato gnocchi. I love getting mine at the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar and it is really delicious. So one of the tips that Kat said was to make sure you break up each piece. And I totally agree with her because it can clump together. But y'all, this is so good. It is some down home Southern comfort food. It's just like chicken and dumplings, but it's potato pasta instead. It is so good. I highly recommend. I will have Kat's recipe for this in the description box below. So over the weekend, Winston and I took a little road trip and we went to our hometown and we went and celebrated my best friend's kiddos birthdays, both of her kiddos. Uh, and so I decided to make a dip for the party and I found this recipe on Pinterest. So I will have it linked down below, but y'all, it is so easy. It is just these three ingredients. And I was really curious about this because I wanted to know how it was with that TGI Friday spinach dip. I've had that just as is and it's pretty good. So I knew when you add in Rotel and add in Vel Velveeta, it had to be amazing. And y'all, it was, it was so good. Um, I just added everything in the slow cooker. I, I kept it on high for about two hours, stirred it uh, occasionally to make sure it wasn't burning. And y'all, it was amazing. Highly recommend. It was so good. And lastly, we have some chicken taco soup. I had on the menu to make white chicken chili, but I didn't get the right beans. And after I kind of was getting everything out, I was like, this isn't chili, this is a taco soup. So I do have a taco soup recipe. I will have it linked down below for you guys. Um, but I just switched out the beef for chicken. And then instead of doing beef broth, I did chicken broth. So pretty much follow the same thing, but you can just pick what protein and what broth you want. So I have already cooked up and shredded um, chicken. I did that actually yesterday. I did a freezer bill prep day and that video will be out Friday. So y'all stay tuned for that. So that is some of the chicken that I had froze. And I just plopped it out and it's still frozen. It cooked up just fine. So I added that in. It's about two cups of cooked shredded chicken. And then I added in four cups of water. And then I added in the chicken powder to equal out the broth for the water. If you just have chicken broth, then you can just use chicken broth. I added in one can of corn and I added in with the juices. And then I added in one can of Rotel. And I added in one can of chili beans. This is where for the white chicken chili, I was supposed to have white chili beans. So, but y'all, it doesn't matter. It all tasted good. It was delicious. So I added in that whole can of the chili beans. And then I added in a can of Great Northern beans and a can of the cannellini beans. I just rinsed and drained both of those and I'm dumping those in. And then I'm gonna add in one packet total of dry ranch. For some reason, I had two half packs open, so I just dumped both of those in. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but you need one pack total of dry ranch. And then I'm gonna add in one pack of taco seasoning. Mm -hmm. 
and then you're just going to give everything a good mix and I set this on low and let it kind of heat up and cook through for about five hours the best part about this is because everything's cooked you just want to heat it through and marry all those flavors together and I love doing soups in the slow cooker because especially if you already have like your protein cooked like this chicken was already cooked it takes no time to just dump and go and you have a delicious dinner so with this I served some cheese quesadillas and then we always serve it with um, sour cream cheese on top and then I always have like extra tortilla chips and so we just crunch those up and serve those on top and y'all this was so delicious hearty perfect for fall and winter weather and that is it y'all i really hope you enjoyed these super easy crock pot recipes i have truly been enjoying crocktober don't forget that this video is in collaboration with sammy over at managing the maze i will have all her information listed in the description box below so make sure you go and check her out i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.